Hi guys! Today I come back with my top 15 books of the year 2015 and I hope you'll enjoy it. I talk about a few books that I reviewed and I'll tell you when and you can, you can find the links of said reviews in the description below. First book is The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan. This is part of a series called The Heroes of Olympus and second and third books go to The House of Hades which is the fourth book. This is the third book and The Blood of Olympus which is the last book of the series I really like those books. I hope you'll like them too if you haven't read them. If you have, please comment down below and tell me what you thought of them. Next book is Sarina by Jeanne L. Patrick. I also, I think, no, I didn't do a review of this. It was during the summer and I didn't get the chance to, but it's about a young girl during the revolution era in Russia and it has many great things, love, fashion and adventure, and it's really worth the read. It's also a very easy read. The third book is I'll Give You the Sun. I'll Give You the Sun is by Jandy Nelson, who is known for also The Sky is Everywhere, which I haven't read yet. It is very deep and lovely, and I really loved it, and it touched me in many, many ways. It talks about two, two, like a pair of twins and how they grow up and they, they kind of grow apart after a tragedy. If you haven't read it, I would definitely recommend you to because it is wonderful, it is very easy to read, the book has awesome drawings and notes in it, and it will really touch you and change the way you see things. Fourth book is Ruby Red by Kirsten Gia. It's a German book, I believe, and many of you already know it. I heard from a YouTuber that it was really good, I saw a video, and so I decided to read it. It's about tra time traveling and a young girl that can therefore go in different eras and has to learn how to control her power. It's part of a trilogy and I love the trilogy very much so, especially the first two books. Next is Rebel Bell, which is technically the fourth book, but if you the fourth book, but if you can't, the three heroes of Olympus will say it's seventh. So Rebel Bell, many of you know it too, it's about this kick-ass stolen bell that it becomes a warrior and that proves that you can like make up and also fight evil. Fight evil. And that's really cool and I really liked it and it was a very funny read and it was quite lovely. I think the third book is getting released this year, so I'm excited. Next is Looking for Alaska by John Green. I do not need to introduce John Green anymore to anybody. And I've read Paper Town, but I like Looking for Alaska more. Uh, maybe it's because the subject touched me more, I do not know, but I really liked it. It's really short and it really touched me in many ways and I thought it was a really interesting read because it is divided in two parts and I thought it was very well done and you could see how the characters change between the two parts after a tragic event. So I would definitely recommend any John Green read really. If you have read Will Grayson, Will Grayson I haven't, please tell me if I should read it because I don't know yet. Next is The Copper Gauntlet by Cassandra Clare who is one of my favorite authors. She also wrote The Mortal Instruments and the infernal devices and i really like those books and so i decided to try out this new series which is uh, magisterium i did a review of the iron trial back in june i will put you the link down below i really liked it it's really funny and you can see how the characters have matured and it kind of makes me feel like back when i was reading harry potter when i was 13 and that's really a good feeling you know it feels like home and it's lovely and it's not too complicated and you're just in it and you feel for those characters and that's really all that matters <clears throat> the cat <laughs> So if you haven't read this book and you like magic and magic schools and young characters and see them see them grow up and different approaches of magic because it's completely different from what I've ever what I've seen and read before, definitely pick it up. At least give it a try. Give it a try to the Iron Trial and tell me what you think of it. Next is a book that I'm a bit more puzzled about. I'm not entirely sure if I liked it or not. Uh, it is We Were Liars by Elo Cart. I know that it's huge spoilers are going on, on the internet so if you're gonna read this book please don't look at the spoilers. I think I read it in one night and I cried for two days afterwards and I really understand now what all the hype was about. The thing is I like the book in itself as a piece of art, as a piece of literature I thought it was really great. I thought it was a really good book and it's very well done and very well written as a human being, my heart is heartbroken. 
my heart is just broken. As a human being, I hate this book. It traumatized me, it made me cry, it made me rethink things, it made me feel really bad, and that's kind of what reading is all about. It's about discovering new things and being changed by what you read. So definitely pick it up, try it, and you'll tell me how you felt when you were done with it. The cat is in the background, I'm very sorry, I cannot control him. He just has his own things, just ignore him. Next is going to be you. the selection series. I heard a lot about it too, and I hesitated because it seemed kind of cheesy and maybe, I don't know, it wasn't really my style. Bachelor and Hunger Games and things, I just didn't get it. Um, I tried it and I liked it. Sure, it's easy, sure, it's cheesy, but it's funny and it talks about things you haven't always seen before. And I like the series more than I like Via, which is the fourth book. I mean, the, tri the first trilogy with Edlin is what I like most because, uh, as you can see in my review, that will be in the description below. But yeah, kind of let me down. But I really like those ones. I wouldn't say they changed my life or anything, but they were funny and they were easy. Next, which is I believe the 14th, if I got myself wrong, if I got my counting wrong, I'm sorry, it's possible, uh, is The Rubber Circle, which was the last book of the Bloodline series. And I really liked it, even though it wasn't my favorite, and I definitely like Vampire Academy more. But it was a nice end, and I was glad to read it and finally put the series down. And last but not least is Magnus Chase, which if you have seen my review that I posted about it, is one of my favorite books of the year. I really, really loved it and I gave it a rating of 5, five stars out of 5 and I hope you'll love it just as much. It's by Quick Riordan as well and it's really great and if you like his other books and if even if you have never tried the other books, you'll love it and you should really try it. There you go, I think that's 15. If it isn't, I'm in trouble. But I'm just gonna go with the fact that it's 15. <laughs> I'm just gonna hope. And I really like doing this. Uh, so yeah, I really loved all those books. Those are no books that were published in, 20, in 2015. For most of them, it's just books that I read in 2015. Some of them I did reviews, which you can find in the description. Others I could give a little brief uh, opinion of what I liked. But really, you can see that I'm very into YA and fantasy and stuff like this. So if you have any like suggestions, please put them down in the comments or write to me on Tumblr. If you ever want to know more about my channel or what I like, I suggest you go follow me on Tumblr, Ink and Camcorder. And please write to me for anything. I hope you liked it. If you want to tell me what you liked in 2015, please do. As of now, I am reading for The King Chronicles, which should be my first books of 2016. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.